Islam advocate the killing of non-believers? This is a question that is raised often with Muslims and non-Muslims. And I personally find it to be a preposterous question. When you look at the name of Islam coming from peace and submission, how can a religion that advocates peace and submission advocate the killing of non-believers? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in surah number 60 verse number 8 states that Allah does not prohibit you from showing kindness and justice to people as long as they did not fight you over your faith and exile you from your lands. As long as those conditions are met, we're meant to show kindness, we're meant to show love, we're meant to show compassion, and we're meant to spread peace. So this is clearly a misconception that people have. Now how about those verses that are actually found in the Quran where Allah does say, kill them wherever you find them. And what's important to understand about those verses is context. In those situations, always read two uh, verses before and two verses after. And you'll find that it is in the context of war of those individuals that again fought Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and the companions over their faith and exiled them from their lands. As long as people are not doing that, then there is no command to kill disbelievers, but rather we are meant to abide by our contracts and treat people with compassion, love, and justice. Subscribe to this channel, share this video, and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified with every new video at Faith IQ. Jazakallah khairan wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.